So the other day after going over this in class, I decided I'd just put together a quick tutorial about how to create this cutting plane line with the direction of sight. And so what I've done so far is drawn a circle, just a 24 inch diameter circle, and then I went over to paper space and decided on my viewport scale, which is a quarter inch equals an inch for this particular drawing. And I set that scale here in model space. So then before I can start drawing this cutting plane line and these arrows, I have to do a little bit of math. Because I said the other day that the overall length of this leader will be a half an inch when printed. And the arrowhead will be a quarter inch tall when printed. And then one twelfth of an inch in width when printed. So we have to take that quarter inch times our scale factor. So for this particular drawing, our scale factor is a four. So a quarter inch times four is one inch. And then we've got to take that one twelfth times our scale factor. So one twelfth times four is one third of an inch. And then what I do with that information is I just start drawing my polyline. So I'll type in PL for polyline, click a point to start from. And then the next thing I need to do is set the width. So I'll click on width. My starting width will be zero. My ending width is going to be the same as the ending width of my arrowhead. So that's going to be one third. And then the length of this is going to be one inch. Now I've got my arrowhead drawn. Now I can draw the rest of my leader. So I'll come back and change my width. And my starting width will now be zero. My ending width will be zero. And I draw an a line at an inch long and that gets my leader now I can draw my cutting plane line so it's going to be 24 inches long but I've got to add the quarter inch that sticks out on each side so overall it's going to be 26 inches long so I'll just type in 26 and hit enter and then I redo that process so I come up one inch and then change my width so I'll use the width option of the polyline. Now my starting width, since I'm at the back of my arrowhead, that is going to be one third. My ending width will be zero, and that will be one inch long. And then I can hit escape. I've got my cutting plane line drawn. I'll assign it to the cutting plane layer. And now I'll move it from the midpoint to the center of my circle. So when I go to print this off, my arrowheads will be a quarter inch when printed. Overall, that leader will be a half inch long when printed. The space between my arrow and the object will be a quarter inch when printed. And so that's what I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you were able to follow along with that or maybe with some help from some students, uh, you'll be able to figure that out. But I wanted to put this together for you. I hope it helps. I will see you next week.